Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's something minus me here. So I thought that I would just come and talk to you guys for a little while about some things that's revolving around me in my weight loss journey that I wanted to talk to you guys about. So you guys obviously know that I have PCOS and I have been on this journey trying to get better, trying to eat healthier and just overall be like a better me. And so far it's been working so far i have been enjoying my weight loss journey um maybe about a month and a half ago i went vegan and it has been one of the hardest things that i had to ever do in life and it's exciting but it does get boring and i think it gets boring for me because i find myself eating the same stuff for a little bit but um i'm learning as i grow and it's really exciting so for the last month I haven't been to the gym at all. Went to the gym today to pay for the membership, but as far as working out, I haven't done it. And I haven't been able to get my ass out of this house. I haven't been able just to get up and go. Like, I don't know what it is, but I haven't been really feeling it. But my girl, Fearless Fat Girl, has started a weight loss challenge. It starts September 1st. And if you have Snapchat, then I definitely do encourage you to join. I will leave my Snapchat below. I just got it today, so it shouldn't be anything up there yet. And I will leave hers below also. You guys can join us. Um, you should be on a weight loss journey. And I do stress that because um, you probably not going to want to see that on your feed. So definitely do be on a weight loss journey. Um, I also have a weight loss group on Facebook. You guys can interact with me on that so i do recommend that you guys interact with us through social media it's definitely a great thing um i do have facebook which most of you guys follow me on which is a personal one which honestly i don't really post my weight loss journey um people always have something to say and that's probably the reason why i don't it's always something so that's why i made my weight loss group so I do recommend if you're on a weight loss uh, weight loss journey or if you're changing how you eat and you want to share it, definitely follow me on the weight loss group and interact with me. I don't mind if you join the group and you just sit there. I really don't care. You only cheat yourself. But I would recommend that you guys interact with me. I try my best to stay as active in the group as possible. So I do want to thank the ones who joined the group and who are active, who like the pictures, who talk to me who send me inbox messages i do appreciate you guys and i want to say thank you so i've been struggling y'all um i went to see the nutritionist on friday she tells me i'm overeating i mean way too much fruit way too many carbs and i asked her like how can i be a vegan and not eat too much of that stuff i'm not eating any meat so i would eat almost two times the vegetables or i would eat two times the starch and I don't eat starch every day but I try to keep it at a minimum of how I eat it but I don't eat rice I only eat the quinoa I, I know I don't know what she want me to do but I am rerouting my weight loss journey I'm doing some more research right now on the PCOS on the things I can't have and what I can't have and trying to figure out how that's going to intertwine with the vegan life um hopefully it does because i've seen that you know you should be vegan which it tells you to cut out a whole bunch of stuff and all of the stuff it tells you to cut out is like practically living as a vegan so it tells you that you should not eat like the refined sugars the dairy um so that was my reason for going vegan and I think some people get it twisted like oh my god people going vegan this is some Beyonce shit because that's what the nutritionist said to me like are you vegan because of Beyonce and I'm like bitch since when because I didn't know Beyonce was vegan because I don't keep up with her so yeah and technically I don't even have a radio in my house nor do I watch half of them shows that come on in the morning that she probably mentioned it on so Anyways, I just wanted to come on here and tell you guys that um, starting September 1st, I will be back in the groove of things. Um, starting tomorrow, I'm going back to the gym three times a week. So, 
we're gonna see how that goes and i'm going to be doing some research for right now and i'm um, writing in my food journal to see if that helps because she wants me to keep a journal and come back to see her i think like the week before thanksgiving to see if the measuring cup she gave me measuring cups and stuff so to see if that stuff actually helped me or not but i don't know i just been at a standstill on this weight loss journey and i'm trying to figure out everything and get everything back on track so between that and my life i'm trying to figure it out <laughs> trying to put the pieces together so i'm trying y'all but that's what i wanted to come on here and talk to you guys about um i have just been really irritated with going to these doctors and just hearing things that i didn't really want to hear i mean as far as overeating who the hell wants to hear that when i have completely changed the way of eating like 150 percent changed the way that i've been eating and it's never recognized like what you do is never enough and it's not that she didn't say like oh you shouldn't be vegan like that's not what she told me but it's kind of like you're overeating i don't think you should want to be vegan because you know some people do this because it's a lifestyle thing you know they don't like animal cruelty and stuff like that and don't get me wrong i mean i care for the animals but i once ate meat so for me to say like omg i don't eat meat anymore because of animal cruelty i will be lying to you i just didn't eat it because i want to become healthy and change my body and change the pcos and help it as much as i can from the the inside i don't want to lie to anybody and say oh i'm vegan because of animal cruelty like i ate meat my whole life <laughs> so me changing my life at this point has been really hard and i don't think the doctors see it for what it is it's just kind of like oh hey you want bypass surgery like i lost 42 pounds on my own and i don't understand why that's the first thing they throw at you and of course my answer was no like why would i want to do that when i lost the weight on my own when i was motivated enough to do it on my own so that's my life that's where i've been at for the last couple of weeks that's why I haven't been posting me going to the gym or even talking about it because I haven't been doing it. And as much as I try to stay motivated and to stay positive, I try to put that on other people, especially in a weight loss group. I try my best. But, um, yeah, I just, I don't know. I think when you see a change in yourself is kind of like you get scared. Sometimes I get scared of this person that I can become and... I know people are like, how can you be scared? But sometimes you do get to that point where you freeze up. Like, OMG, I can really be this this big person. Or I can really be the person that I've always wanted to become. And it's like, even with my business, I see it growing every day. And I get scared. I get to the point where I'm like, oh, let me stop promoting. Or let me stop marketing myself and doing this and doing that. And you get to the point where it's like... I'm scared today, but then tomorrow I wake up and I'm attacking the world. So, yeah. Leave it below and let me know if you ever get scared. Like, if you have this fear of life, of becoming who you want to become. Like, do you ever just look at yourself in the mirror and say, I'm getting closer and closer to who I want to become and it scares you? They, also, they always say if it scares you, then if it doesn't scare you, then your goal is not big enough. So, are your goals big enough? Are they scaring you?